scarves, posters, free drinks. Those are just some of the gifts being handed out this weekend at NHL games. Half the season was lost because of the labor dispute, and now teams hope this special treatment will make fans forget about the lockout. Crystal Gamansing has more. Players and fans are reconnecting. I didn't feel any tension in the crowd. The reception for the players is really good, nice and solid, a very good Jets welcome. The long and frustrating lockout didn't silence anyone at the Jets' home opener Saturday, although things didn't go as planned. We didn't win, but NHL's back. That's not a good thing, right? No, that's a good thing, right? Fans were repeatedly thanked for their support. The team even took out a full-page newspaper ad and... They give all these place masks too, they're fantastic. Nice. Go Jets, go! 3D posters in Winnipeg, scarves in Vancouver. Discounted concessions, a break on team merchandise and game day tokens. All a sign that the teams are extending the olive branch to fans. You have to present some sort of token of apology. This is the Sunday Morning Hockey Show. The giveaways got a little talk on this local hockey show, but it was the performance that dominated the conversation. The Jets lost. The Sonic scores! So did the Habs, and so did the Canucks. Might have been the worst game I've seen in 10 years. Really, eh? Even free beers weren't enough. The freebies are nice, but wins are better. We're not going anywhere, but you're going to have to deliver some victories in order for this momentum to continue. The 4-1 loss in Winnipeg had people leaving the arena before the end of the game Saturday night. A rare event in this hockey-crazed city. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, Winnipeg.